The choices when it comes to pre-workouts are plenty. We have reviewed 14 varying products, ranging from low stimulant to very high. Our review was completed based on several criteria. Effectiveness, price, taste, mixability, and side effects. To start with, let's go through a quick guide to getting the most from your chosen pre-workout. Number one, only use for hardcore training sessions, such as squats and deadlifts. This way you get time off and do not allow your body to get used to the stimulants effect. The exception to this would be pumped products and low stimulant pre-workouts. Number two, have time off, especially if you are not pushing as hard in training. Pre-workout should be helping you lift more weight or get more reps. If it is not, have a break. And finally, number three, cut all other stimulant usage so that your pre-workout has its full effect. The review process was completed by several people with varying degrees of lifting experience. The majority of the results were fairly unanimous and where there was disagreement the margins were very close. To start with all products had a positive effect on everyone's workouts. Not one could be said to have done nothing. Out of the 14 products tested, the bottom ranking ones were NO Explode. This gave most our reviewers stomach cramps and the urgent need to go to the toilet. The mixability was very poor. When shaken, it pressurizes the shaker, causing it to literally explode when opening the lid. Large particles quickly form at the bottom of the shaker, so it requires constant shaking while drinking. On a plus note, it did provide a lot of energy. Grenade Black Ops. This product had the least effect regarding performance. It also gave some of our users acid reflux. The product is not designed as a pre-workout but was included to add variety. Next up, the lower stimulant products. Essential Amino Energy, Train and Sustain and Gold Standard Pre-Workout all perform well in each criteria, with the Gold Standard coming second overall on taste, but missed out on the top spot for a low stimulant product. On the top in this category was Sneak, scoring top marks in all criteria and having the best taste and mixability of all products tested. The range of flavours is huge and the energy provided was excellent. This product is something that could be taken daily to help you feel more awake and focused. Falling short of the top spots were C4, Vapor X5 and Pathogen. Vapor X5 performed well but did cause stomach and toilet issues with some users. C4 and Pathogen were both good products but narrowly missed out. Kill It came out on top for moderate stimulant. It performed just as well as other products with higher stimulant levels. Runners up Mr Hyde and Crack. Mr Hyde was an excellent product that only just missed out on the top spot. It has very high stimulant levels with 420 milligrams of caffeine. Crack was narrowly our best performance enhancer but lost out on top spot due to an average flavour and from the users who have had DMAA products in the past saying it did not meet their expectations of the products of old. However, it was still the best performing and provided huge energy and focus levels, but be aware DMAA products are banned in many places. Ronnie Coleman's signature series Yeah Buddy came out on top narrowly beating crack by having better flavour, mixability and price while still providing a huge workout boost and good pump and it does this without any banned ingredients. It does have the same amount of caffeine as Mr Hyde at 420 milligrams but there was no crash from any of our reviewers. A link to Ronnie Coleman's signature series is in the description and keep an eye out for more Maximum Iron reviews coming soon.